بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد صلاه الفجر requires from a sacrifice praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala getting up making wudu preparing yourself for the prayer or making ghusl if necessary those things require sacrifice from us and that sacrifice is part of the path of jannah that jannah doesn't come easy that it requires for us anything worth in this dunya requires sacrifice so of course that which is even better which is in the hereafter requires even greater sacrifice and unfortunately some of our brothers and sisters miss that opportunity of praying fajr during its time or praying fajr at all even and that is something grievous to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to miss that very important prayer and especially those who miss it consistently so much so that even if you want to follow the prophetic sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam then you will strive to pray the rakatain the two units of extra prayer or sunnah prayer or nawafil as they're described that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam didn't miss and this can be evidenced by the statement of aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha an aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha qalat لم يكن نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم على شيء من نوافل الشد تعهد منه على ركعتين الفجر رواه البخاري ومسلم وفي لفظ لمسلم ركعتا الفجر خير من الدنيا وما فيها عائشة رضي الله تعالى عنها said that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم did not used to be on something from the nawafil prayer more consistent than the two units of fajr prayer the the, the, the sunnah of fajr those two unit of prayers that you make before praying the fajr prayer and in the narration in sahih muslim she said that the two units of prayer or the prophet ali sallallahu alaihi said that the two prayer units of fajr the sunnah prayer is better than the dunya and what is contained in it meaning it's better than everything in this life and what is contained in this world and that was collected in sahih muslim that hadith evidence is for is is evidence for us letting us know the importance of praying fajr prayer but praying the sunnah of fajr prayer that the prophet ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam said rakat al fajr khairan min ad wa ma fiha the the two units of fajr prayer is better than what is in this life what is in this world or this world and what is contained inside this world alayhi salatu wassalam and from this hadith some of the benefits we gain Sheikh Ali Basam rahimahullah ta'ala and may Allah bless him with jannat of firdaus amin he said one of the things we gain from this hadith is that it is sunnah mu'akkida you know that it is the recommended meaning that you will receive reward for this and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam never left this these two units of fajr prayer so it is not befitting to ever miss those two units of prayer 
so for example the person who does miss them on occasion and if it becomes somewhat consistent they should make qada they should make that prayer up you know after the sun has uh, after the sun has risen after the fajr prayer and the sun has risen then when the time for salat duha then they should make up their uh, their rakatain if they missed it and another benefit the sheikh mentioned is it shows that their benefit and their greatness in Islam is is immense and this is because the Prophet والسلام, said it's better than this life and what's contained in this world also another benefit the fact that the Prophet والسلام, was consistent and regular on this more so than any other sunnah in prayer shows us how great it is and how significant this rakatain of fajr is and the sheikh said that with knowing the greatness and the immense reward and the ease which with which it comes to make those two units of prayer that the person who is lazy and careless about this is a person is is it it is evidence the fact that they're lazy and careless about this shows that they are a person who is weak in their islam meaning that they are a person you know they're weak in is in their islam and in their iman because it is very easy to do these simple actions, these righteous deeds, and it also illustrates that they are a person who is prohibited from this great khair azim. That Allah didn't give them tawfiq to be able to perform these very simple and easy deeds which have immense reward. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be consistent in all of our prayers, the obligatory and the the the, uh, the extra prayers. And may Allah forgive us of all of our shortcomings and our sins and help us to correct our salats. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.